guys, I'm Viper, and today is the second episode of Tips and Tricks with Viper. Um, today we're going to be um, learning something in After Effects, and as you can see by the video title, we'll be going over how to make a space atmosphere with um, some cool um, elements. Um, you're actually going to need a couple different um, effects or um, plugins. What you're going to need is you're going to need trap code form, you're going to need trap code particular, and you're going to need optical flares. Everything else comes with After Effects, so you should be good to go. But uh, go ahead and find out how to get them, or go ahead and buy them from Video Copilot or Trap Code. So once you've done that, come back over here, and we're going to want to make a new composition. So we're going to want to make our duration 10 seconds, our width 1920 by 1080, and um, that's just going to give us a 1080p HD resolution um, feel. So let's um, hit OK. Come over here to Layer, and you're going to want to get a new solid. Hit OK. Go ahead and go to the effect. Actually, excuse me, we're going to duplicate this later. Layer, and then go to effect, and you're going to want to go down to trap code particular. And right now we're going to be making the particular atmosphere, which is, um, well, you'll see in a second. Hold on. Um, um, I'll tell you this real quick. I'm kind of sick, and I didn't write a script for this, so. This is all improv right now, so I'm um, sorry if the video is a little sloppy. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to want to go to the emitter, and we're going to want to go to the emitter type and make sure it's at box. We're going to want to change the particles, and we're going to want to make them about 70. Um, come down to emitter size, and well, actually, go to about 4 seconds in your video, and bring the emitter size up till it fills the whole screen. So, oh, we don't want even more than that. All right, so around 2,500 will work. Let me make it full resolution for you guys. Okay, there you go. You're going to want to make your emitter size y-axis all the way up as well until it fills the whole screen. And make the emitter size z. Uh, give it a little depth, so maybe around 400, 500. Okay, so um, particles a second, that's fine. It doesn't look like we have a lot right now, but that's okay. Come down to Emission Extras, and you'll see Pre-Run. And basically what Pre-Run does is it, um, right now if you see, if we move along the timeline, you'll see that it kind of starts from nothing, and then it gets bigger. Um, what we want to do is we don't want it to start off at zero. We want it to start out where it is right now. It's hard to explain. Just bump that all the way up to 100. Okay. Um, if you come down to life um, in the particle tab, you'll see that it's at three seconds. You're going to want to change that to double your composition time. So for us, it's 10 seconds. So we're going to double that and make it about 20. One second. So as you see now, we actually got even more particles um, just because of the particles per second. Um, you could do the math if you wanted to. Um, all right, so for size here, we're actually going to bump that up. Um, so about 95 looks about right. And that looks okay. Now, I'm going to give you guys an option here. You guys can um, mess with um, Cloudlet, which will look something like this, and we'll probably have to bump down the size just a little bit. Or you can go with Sphere. With sphere sorry. And you're just going to have to bump it up a little more. Um, I particularly like Cloudlet, but for this um, tutorial, we'll, we'll actually do Sphere. So our main goal for the size is to try to leave as many black spots as possible, but still have a lot of white at the same time. So um, this, this looks about right. Um, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to change the opacity down to about, I'd say, 3. 3 looks about OK. Or looks about good. Um, so now you can see if we actually play this out, you'll see that all the um, particles are kind of popping in. And as I play this, you'll see that they're all popping in and they're popping out back and forth. And we're actually going to change something to um, make that not happen. So as you can kind of see, you see that they're popping like that. And it's an easy fix. All you need to do is where you see the size over life and the opacity over life. All you need to do is make a triangle with it. And if you can watch here, I start at the birth, and I'm going to go up to about just before half, and I'm going to come back down. And actually, I'm going to fix that so it goes 
down. Okay. Um, do the same around the same spot and come back down. Okay. So now if we do something like this and we play it out, you'll actually start to see that um, it's not it's not like um, popping in and popping out. And as you'll see, there's not it actually dropped the opacity because of uh, the opacity over life. So we're actually going to bring that up quite a bit. So, yeah, um, you'll actually see that these particles are smaller. So it's all um, it's all process of elimination here. So we're actually just going to bring the um, where is that particle size up even more. So now you can start to see that it's um, even bigger. And from here we will um, drop down the opacity again. So there's not an exact setting for this, but if you mess around, you'll find a good setting. So that looks about right. So this is kind of the nebula or smoke cloud um, effect that you might see in space um, or space movies or something. So we've achieved that here. Um, for the next effect, we're actually just going to go to new and we're going to get this um, a different solid, which is going to be um, our particles. And all we need to do is go to trap code form instead of doing trap code particular. Okay, and now we get this little box and it's transparent onto the um, smoke or the um, space atmosphere. So we're going to want to go to disperse and twist and we're just going to want to disperse it. So if we go here, we'll actually see that we get a lot of particles. And uh, that looks about right. Now, you can actually go into your particles, and our size is pretty small. We can bump that up to 2. Maybe even, like, if you want to get crazy, you could go 5. And then all you have to do is just bring down the opacity a little bit, and the opacity random, and same with size random. So this looks okay. Now, uh, actually, we'll bring back the um, size down to about 4. Okay, now this looks good. Um, we'll actually bring the opacity up just a little more. Okay, that looks just fine. Now, now that we're here, uh, you, you're thinking, what else do we do? Well, it's pretty simple. Um, all we need to do from here is get a camera. Um, and there are ways to make this animate, but um, the camera is very easy because it's just one track and it's really easy. So just go to Layer New Camera. The setting should be fine, but if it's different, make sure your preset is at 50 millimeters. Um, and your film size 36 millimeters, angle view 39.60, and focal length 50. That is basically the standard one. Um, I am not going to do a depth of field tutorial, but you can also check that if you know what you're doing. Okay, so now you have your camera, and it's pretty simple. Down here are three boxes, or um, a collection of boxes, and there are these little icons. There's a little square 3D layer box, and you're just going to want to check them on both of your um, particle layers. So your particular and your form one, you're just going to hit um, 3D. Alright, so now, both of them are 3D layers, and um, what you need to do um, in your form tab is go to your Z, and you're going to want to bump that up to about 2000 maybe. Okay, and you won't see that much of a change, but um, all it is is allowing us to move in and out. Um, and let's make sure we have that as well um, for our particular, and we'll bump the emitter size maybe up to 1100? That looks okay, 2000 as well. So now each solid is um, 3D and it has some depth. So go into your camera and just uh, bring down the transform option and in your position you'll see that it's at like negative 2666.7. Um, you're just going to hit keyframe on your first frame or, or wherever you want to start the um, animation and just go to 10 seconds and bump that up to about 2000. That should work. And I'm going to go ahead and um, ramp, ramp preview this. Uh, I'll be right back. Um, so I'm back. And as you can see, uh, the render is finished. And I'll just uh, preview it for you guys. Basically, what you're seeing here is um, just the camera tracking with it. And um, you can kind of see the particular atmosphere in the background kind of move every which way randomly, which is um, pretty cool. 
Um, I currently don't know a way to slow it down because I wish I could. Um, if any of you know in the comments, go ahead and let me know, but I'm looking to fix that. But for now, it actually looks fine. Um, and what we're actually going to do is we'll go ahead to our particular, and I forgot to tell you guys, you can change the color as well. Um, and for this, we're going to actually be doing a little blue and make it kind of more towards the white side. And maybe even a little, a little more. Okay, so we kind of get this blue effect. And um, we're not done yet because we have one more thing. Um, <clears throat> what we'll do is we're going to get a new layer, adjustment layer. Make sure it's on top of everything. And you're going to go to Effect, Video Copilot, Optical Flares. And from here, uh, this is just the stock optical flares that you get. And we really don't want that right now. So we're going to go to render mode. You want to go to over original so we can actually see our composition. We're going to come up to options and let that load. And we're going to hit clear all. Um, hit yes. Go to glow and um, we'll also get a multi iris as well as a streak and a shimmer. So now we get this whole big thing. Uh, we're going to want to make the streak kind of a little small, but we'll make the opacity down as well. We're going to make the glow, um, actually we'll bump that up just a little bit. Make the streak not as much, so bring down that. Actually, we can, we can keep it a little lower, um, not too much. Okay, and then the shimmer, um, bring down the opacity on that as well, just a little bit, just so you can kind of see, uh, so you can kind of see some rays. Okay, so that's good. Um, obviously, you can play around with this to your liking. Um, for now, that looks about right. Oh, hit OK. Um, and we're just doing a blue kind of scene from here. And you can kind of see this little line. The further we get into it, you can kind of see these rays popping out, as well as these um, multi irises that look really nice. So um, we're gonna go ahead and add some um, text just for uh, for like a just a tutorial, so you guys can kind of see what it'll look like. Um, I'll just put in obviously oop tutorial. I hate holding. I have to hold down shift. Okay, we're good. Now we'll just center this um, by getting our proportional grid. That's that's just about right doesn't have to be exact for now but once you've got your um, text right here I'm just gonna lower the opacity just a little bit okay so um, you know it's kinda cool if we uh, if we do um, something we can do something really sweet if we make this object 3d and we go into the orientation I think oh excuse me wrong way um, if we animate this, will it zoom in? It will. That's sweet. Okay, so if you see, it kind of starts out small and it uh, zooms in just because of the uh, the um, depth of it. So that's really cool. Um, that's just a test run. So we're not. Um, I think I think we'll add one more thing as well. Let's go to layer new. Um, I'll kind of give you guys like a little bonus thing. We'll go to effect, and I'll can't. I'll give you like a sneak preview of um, another tutorial that I can do. Um, I can do like a color correction tutorial for you guys. So we'll go ahead and we'll go to magic bullet looks. Hopefully it doesn't freeze on me. Should be fine. Um, let that load. Come on. This might not be a good thing. Okay. Let that do its thing. Alright. Um, as you can see, we're just gonna, we're only gonna add a few things for now. We're gonna wanna go to lens, and we're gonna get a vignette. And keep it like that, because that's actually just perfect. Um, we'll go ahead and we can add an edge softness. And just a little bit at the very edges, and that should do as well. We're going to come over to matte, and we're going to get a diffusion. We're going to make the size, um, I'd say, 4.5. And it depends on your logo or text or whatever you have. Make the grade as high as you can go. Make the glow as much, because we want a lot of glow in this. Highlights only. Bring that down. I like that. It's very glowy. 
and that looks about right. Um, mess around with the settings. I like a lot of glow in my intros if you haven't noticed. Um, that looks really good. Okay, so that's just the, so the size is 2.4, the grade is 5.9, the glow is 91, the highlights only is 17%, and the highlight bit bias is just um, negative 0.15. So that's the settings for this. If you can't see them, um, we'll hit finish. And already, you can already see this is looking really nice. Um, so yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, it's very basic, and you know, it's for you guys to have your creativity um, mixed in with this. This is just, you know, a little template for you guys. So um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and leave the project file down in the description if you guys want to test it out for yourself. If you're too lazy to watch and follow all my directions, I'll leave it down in the description for you guys. Um, but for now, I'm gonna pause the video, or excuse me, I'll just end the video and I'll render this out, and you guys will be able to see it at the end. So before I go, make sure you leave a like and comment um, if you did like this video. And comment down below what you want to see from me next week because um, I'm going to start doing this about every week as long as I can. So um, comment down below what you want to see uh, for, as tutorial-wise. So yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Peace.